ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Church groups at several Texas universities facing serious accusations of sexual assault. Eyewitness News starts now. Well, a man regarded as a spiritual leader across our state is now accused of weaponizing religion, using it to groom and manipulate boys and young men. Daniel Savala is accused of sexual assault and abuse dating back decades. ABC 13 Shannon Ryan joins us live from the Harris County Jail, where Savala is currently being held. And Shannon, a new lawsuit was filed against him this week. It was Savala has been a registered sex offender since 2013. Still, this lawsuit alleges he's been encouraged to work with children and young adults by campus ministry leaders. Some of those leaders even witnessed assaults themselves, yet brought youth from religious groups across the state to Savala's house for, quote, mission work. Savala was part of Chi Alpha Campus Ministries. Its website says it is a co-ed Pentecostal ministry group operating on nearly 300 college campuses. The victim in this new lawsuit is legally blind and was part of the ministry group at Sam Houston State University. He says the abuse began in 2017 when he was first driven to Savala's house. Savala was first accused of sexually abusing minors in 2012. He was indicted on 11 charges for allegedly assaulting a number of children in a youth group he led in Alaska in the 90s. He pleaded guilty to just one charge, spent 90 days in prison, and registered as a sex offender. Last year, he was accused of sexually abusing two teenage boys with a then Baylor University campus minister. The two were sent to the McLennan County Jail. But eventually, Savala was brought here to Harris County as more alleged victims started coming forward. In August, one young man reported that Savala had started assaulting him back in 2005 when he was in high school. He was also charged this February for allegedly exposing himself to another teen back in 2021. He used it as part of his grooming process to normalize the sexual abuse, and he used religious text in order to make it seem normal uh, and would say things like, nudity is unity. And so when he was using those religious terms and using the Bible, he was grooming this young man who was learning about the religion and being part of this church. Now, Chi Alpha's website says that they're still active on college campuses. We've reached out to a number of universities impacted, asking why Savala was able to be part of church groups there as a registered sex offender. We haven't heard back. Live at the Harris County Jail, Shannon Ryan, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.